Welcome to Sisyphus Reborn. This is a short atmospheric adventure game. I've played it for a few minutes so far and I really like what I've seen. I got off to a really strong start, so I think this might be something quite special. It's also completely free, so I'll have a link in the description where you can check it out for yourself. Let's begin. How it began is irrelevant. I found myself in a cave. To my mind, this is where I began to exist, though I couldn't say how I arrived or how long I had been there. Nothing existed. Then, everything existed. After some time, I began to sense a faint light at the far end of the cave. This alone gave me reason to go forward. The unshakable hope of escape, of freedom. Stalactite. This cave is full of stalactites. Some form of liquid seems to be dripping from the roof. A pile of large rocks. It looks like part of the cave formations must have collapsed a long time ago, as the rocks have become smooth and round. cave wall. The wall of the cave is solid and surprisingly smooth. A dampness permeates the air, making the walls glisten slightly. The cave is full of stalagmites. This one is almost joined to the stalactite above it. I can't fit through the gap, and somehow the cave is so narrow that I can't move sideways at all. Almost as if I'm stuck in two dimensions. <gasps> Looking closer, the stalactite has a small crack in it. I might be able to break it off. Alright, so let's go grab a rock from this pile over here. This rock should be solid enough to break the cracked stalactite. And now we can fit. There's a faint light glowing up ahead. This cave is closed off on both ends. How on earth did I end up in here? Alright, so this is the extent to which I have already played. Yeah, there's a lot of small little details that this game just... does really well. And that really surprised me. Like, the, fi the way that everything just kind of... pulses with light and kind of jitters around, sort of. It's a sort of rough art style, but somehow it really works. And the sound design is really good. Like, listen to the echoing water in this cave. And the fact that when you examine stuff, like this, a stream of water is flowing through the cave wall into a rock pool. It doesn't seem to overflow. It must drain away underground. Like the fact that when you examine stuff, your cursor turns into the symbol for infinity. But it isn't just like a, you know, it's not just like a static symbol that's just staying in place, but kind of moves around. Like everything's kind of alive and, and morphing. Like everything's very fluid and kind of jittery. It's really interesting. All right, so there's gotta be a, a drain somewhere in here. Perhaps one that I can fit through? The water is cool and seems to glow slightly in the gloom. I don't feel at all thirsty, though, or hungry for that matter. 
The hole is too small for me to fit through. It looks like the only way out. It looks like the only way out, though. There's a small hole in the cave wall. It looks like the flow of water has gradually worn away at the rock. Uh, well, I don't have my rock anymore. Could I try to widen the hole? There's a hole in the wall, yep. Just make sure I'm not missing anything particular here. Just the water and the hole, huh? Perhaps I can go back for another rock or something. Maybe if I... Actually, wait, can I pick this up? Stalactite is surprisingly light. I'll take it with me. Oh. Well, that could help. I could use that to... Oh, I could use that to plug the hole, probably. Although, which hole? The hole where the water's coming from, or the hole where the water's going, thereby making it overflow? Let's try that first. I'll see if I can break some of this weakened rock. After some time, pieces of the cave wall fall away and a flood of white light fills the cave. It is so bright that the outside world is barely discernible. Damn, that is bright. What's out there? The outside world. It is so bright I can't see anything at all. The hole is now large enough to fit through. A vast desert sprawls out beyond the limits of sight. The air is so saturated with heat that the entire landscape appears to be shifting. The grass feels quite tough. I suppose it would need to be able it would it would need to be to withstand the extreme heat. Yeah, I love the way everything is kind of glitching out sort of. It's actually really interesting looking. Small patch of grass it only seems to grow near the cave. I guess I guess life is just barely sustained near the cave because of the water. It can get just a little bit of water, enough to stay alive, barely. But wait a minute. Wasn't the water coming out of that hole? So where's the water? The water was coming from out here? That, that can't be right, can it? Can I go back inside? Where's the water actually coming from? Strange. Strange looking trees. They are solid and seem almost petrified. I can't tell if they're living or dead. I just got the sudden feeling of what if I'm eventually going to turn into them? What if I am the tree? What if we are the trees? Assuming there is a we. There is a we. There's a person here in the desert. They appear to be digging a hole. A big pile of sand. It retains its shape more than I would expect it to. The sand isn't as solid as it looks. Trying to climb it will just pull it down. There's nothing in there except sand. A hole in the ground. That explains the piles of sand. I mean, the piles of sand explain the holes. Whew. 
who are you? I am me. That doesn't help me at all. Can't you be more specific? I am me. Very well, I see this is going nowhere. Where are we? We are here. But what is this place? This is the place where we dig. Why do you dig? We dig to live. Why do you dig? We dig to... that... How does... How does that keep you alive? Are you looking for water? Nothing in there except sand. There's another one. Another person digging a hole. What's going on? I can't get a straight answer out of the person over there. Can you tell me what is going on here? I cannot help you. You will need to ask someone else. Please, I just need to know where I am. What is this place? I cannot help you. You will need to ask someone else. You don't seem to say anything else. Are you able to say anything else at all? I cannot help you. You will need to ask someone else. Okay. By the way, I should mention the name of this game. Sisyphus Reborn. Uh, in case you don't know, Sisyphus was a... a person from Greek mythology who was basically forced to, as a sort of punishment, was forced to roll a boulder up a hill. A very heavy boulder. And then at the top of the hill, it would always roll back down, and then, and then he'd have to go back down and roll it back up again. And he was stuck in this infinite loop of basically infinitely rolling this boulder never ever achieving anything. At least that's the basic, like, 10 second Wikipedia version, so I'm not sure about the details on exactly what he was being punished for and all of that, but there's obviously some allegory here. Sisyphus Reborn. These people endlessly digging for seemingly no purpose. Makes me wonder if this is some sort of a punishment? A rock pile. That's different. A large pile of rocks. They look like they've been placed there intentionally. These stones are quite flat. I don't want to carry one, though. There are no stalactites to smash out here. Another person digging in the sand. It seems to be what everyone is doing here. Where am I? You are here. Where is here? Here is where you are. Okay. What are you doing? We are digging. It's interesting that he said we, not I. Why are you digging? We dig to make mountains. Why do you make mountains? We make mountains to fill in holes. Okay. Dig holes to live. Dig holes to make mountains, to fill holes that you dig to live. Another pile of sand. Apart from the dead trees, they seem to be the only feature in this landscape. A hole being dug in the sand. I suppose this is how all those piles of sand came to be. Indeed, most likely. Deep hole. This hole goes a very long way down. It almost looks like there's something down there. No, maybe not. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go down there, but first, let's look out here. Should I even bother talking to them? 
I don't suppose you can tell me anything about this place? I can tell you about digging. Very well, please tell me about digging. We dig to live. Why live? We live to dig. Uh, is there anyone who might know about something besides digging? Digging is all we know. You may try asking the pyramid. A pyramid? You mean that mound of sand behind you? No, there is a shining pyramid out in the desert. I have asked it questions and always received the same answer. I do not understand the answer, but it makes me feel calm. I suppose I will seek out this shining pyramid then. How do I find it? I travel through the desert and walk over the hill with the, ho with the lone tree. Okay, before I just go walking out into the desert, let me see if I can go down the hole. The particularly deep hole. The hole looks particularly deep. Mm-hmm. Can you go down it? No? Nope. Actually, wait a minute. Can I, like, grab a rock and toss it down and see if I can hear it hit the bottom? Pyramid should be over the hill in this direction. There's the pyramid. It kind of looks like a tent, almost. This tree appears to have some type of bells attached to it, like a giant wind chime. And I hear a sort of belly music in the background. Perhaps I have to recreate the sound. A bell hanging from the tree. It appears to be made out of the same shiny, opaque material as the pyramid. So this is the pyramid. It appears to be made of a dull glass. It is very reflective and almost painfully bright, yet completely opaque. I can't see anything inside it. The surface is quite rough to the touch. I cannot find any markings on it. It sounds like bells are playing inside. What if I just go off in this direction? Is there anything here? There's nothing but empty desert in this direction as far as I can see. Okay, I think the pattern is this. Movement is heard inside the pyramid, and a previously unseen entrance appears. I love the sound design, it's so good. I can hear that thing... The sound of that, like, violently opening, and you can even hear, like, the sound pouring, uh, the sound, the, the sand pouring off of it. The inside of the pyramid seems to be quite dim. The walls must be very thick to keep out the harsh sunlight. Hopefully I can get some answers in here. Hello? There's someone living in the pyramid. It looks the same as the others, but somehow older. 
Yeah, it looks kind of hunched over. Who are you? I imagine you have asked that question of many here and received no useful answer. I'm afraid I can offer no more than they. I am myself, and you are yourself. I am the one that lives in this pyramid, who is conversing with you now. Anything more is meaningless. You seem different from the others. I was here before any of the others. Many of them came to me for questions before you. Why you? I was here before them. Did you create this place? No. How long have you been, how long have you been here? I was here before the others. But how long has it been? I was here before the others. This is all I can know. Why hide away in here? I imagine you have had meaningless, frustrating conversations with the others here. I have experienced this over an eternity. I built this place to escape, knowing that only someone with a slightly intelligent mind would be able to play the pattern on the bells. I feel like I have, I have memories of before this place, but I don't know what they are. Where is this place? How did you arrive here? I've been here for an eternity. My earliest memory is being here alone. But let me ask you, how are you able to communicate with me? I, I don't know. I, I just can. I know language. I know what a tree is, what a rock is. I have memories of a life, but things here are wrong. I'm in the wrong place. I'm sure of it. What you think our memories may simply be instinct. No one taught either of us language, and yet here we are. Are your memories of this place? No, they're of something else, but as if a dream of a dream. Is this the afterlife? It is not possible to know, and if it were, would that change anything? No, I, I suppose not, but I would have expected something more. Something more? I don't know what, anything. I'm sure I don't belong here. I want to get out. There is no way out. I once considered such an action, but I have been here for an eternity and tried everything. I have traveled forever in every direction. The empty desert stretches out endlessly. The life we have here is the only life possible. But there's nothing here, no reason to exist. We have but one reason to exist, to dig. I don't understand. You dig holes and fill them in again. How is this a reason to exist? We have a choice. To dig or not to dig. We choose to dig. This choice gives us a purpose. Really? If those are the only options, it doesn't seem like a choice at all. Do you really feel you had a choice to come and see me or not? Or that any of the others here have a choice? It is only on the surface. A justification. Whether there, whether there are options is irrelevant. Everyone here might have a path chosen for them in advance. The only difference is that no one is aware of it. Perhaps there can only ever be one sequence of events. I don't believe you. Are you saying you knew I would come here? I'm not claiming to be a clairvoyant. All I am saying is that once you had come here, this was the only possible path. It is already ahead of you, even though it is unseen. I do not know my own path either, only that it is there. I accept things as they happen, as the only thing that could have happened. But you said the only possibility here is to dig. What about this place? Those bells you made? This is more than just digging. You must understand, I have been here for an eternity. I have built whole cities and watched them decay. Everything returns to sand eventually, and yet we remain. But surely you can build again. Given enough time, everything here decays except for ourselves. Any action repeated enough times eventually becomes pointless. We appear to have no end to our time, so all actions become meaningless. 
Those bells were not left as an example of what might be created. They are a reminder and a warning to avoid the burden of inevitable disappointment. There is no end to any of it. Nothing, re nothing retains any meaning. Great actions ultimately end with failure every single time. The only success possible here comes from menial tasks. This is the only path to happiness, to live at all. The only way to avoid non-existence is to dig. And what of non-existence? I will take you there. I will show you. These are the ones that have chosen nothing. What happened to them? They come here and wait. After a while, they find it difficult to move. Later, they are unable to move at all. Eventually, they cannot communicate, and I believe they are no longer aware of anything at all. Such is the fate of those that chose nothing. I would not wish this on anyone. I suggest that you choose to dig. Why do they all group together like that? I do not know. I have seen it happen with many. They simply give up the will to continue living, and come join a group like this to cease to be. Perhaps they feel a stronger purpose treading a path that is laid before them by others. Perhaps this non-existence feels like it has meaning when chosen with many others. There are many groups like this scattered throughout the desert. How does it happen? How do they choose nothing? It is not as much a choice as a lack of action. Refrain from any action long enough and you will end up like them. So I either dig for eternity or face practical non-existence for eternity. I can't say I'm overjoyed with either option. What is out there in the desert? There is nothing more. Travel too far and the heat becomes so intense you cannot see. If you go too far, you may never come back. I will leave you now to consider and make your choice. I hope that you will choose to dig. If you do, come back and see me again. If not... This person does not respond in any way. Though they are moving, there does not appear to be any life in them. So I can choose... What? Huh? I can choose nothing because... Uh, the game just ended? <laughs> what? Did it think I was going to just stay out there with them because I stood next to them for like five seconds? Do you want to quit? No? Not the end. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That was weird. So, an endless, meaningless existence of digging holes... Or what, according to that person, is death. But is living for an eternity, uh, is living a, a meaningless existence, existence for an eternity not worse than death? I think I'm going to go out here. If I go too far, I may never come back. I know. I know. After wandering in the desert for an indeterminate amount of time, the heat becomes unbearable, and the land itself appears to lose its physicality. Oh god. I think I can hear the tree. Is that a radio signal? Tree? Tree! have to get out of here before I lose my mind. Yeah, you just try talking to a tree. 
I think we should go. I have to go back. What's the point in going back? No. Is this the end of the world? No. No, I still don't want to quit. I don't know if I can actually do something here. Do I have to go back? Seems like everything becomes a little less chaotic if I move to like a certain area. Like it's really crazy right here, but if I move over here, it's a little bit more calm. I can't tell if the game's just like messing with me or what. Like, it keeps asking me if I want to quit, but that's obviously. You know, it's a game menu, but at the same time, it seems to be almost something else. And everything almost seems like it's almost, like, getting into tune right about, like, right now. Look at that. For, just for a second, it's, like, almost perfect. It's like I'm trying to pick up a signal or something. Is there a better spot to stand at? if it matters where I stand. I, like, I don't know if this is a puzzle of some sort, or what. What if I say, yes, I want to quit? But I don't want to quit. That's the thing, I don't. I'm not sure how to react to this. Is the game messing with me or not? What if I go back to this one screen? Can I even get back? I can. Is this the sort of game where the only way to win is to not play? No, 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 no. It's not the end. What, do I just accept my fate? What, what seems to be my fate? You are back. I presume this means you have chosen to dig. Is that really all there is to do here? It is the only choice we have. We either dig, or we end up like those brain-dead souls you just saw. Is there no way to escape from this place? Is everyone here really satisfied with this existence? There have been others like you. Many come to me hoping for answers. I could not help any of them. Some of them wandered off into the desert and were not seen since. Others chose nothing. Where did they go to? Does this desert ever end? No. I have traveled in all directions for an eternity and found nothing. Eventually I returned to where I had started and remained, as this was the one place I felt I belonged. The place you belonged, huh? Is there a way to escape through the sand? How far down have you dug? I have dug as far as it is possible to dig. The bedrock below the sand is stronger than the rocks we use for our tools. To try to break it is futile. There is nowhere to go. 
Well then, assuming I want to dig, how do I even do this? I didn't wake up here holding a shovel. Everyone here has made their own. There are a few instinctual pieces of knowledge that even the least intelligent here possess. How to create a shovel, how to dig a hole, and how to fill it in again. So you're saying that if I don't know how to make a shovel, I'm the least intelligent being here? That is not what I mean. But it certainly makes you an anomaly here. More so than myself. I do not doubt your intelligence, but I question your sanity. Well, if digging holes and filling them in again for all eternity is considered sane here, I think I will happily call myself a madman. Very well. So, yes. How do I make a shovel? Ah, you have chosen to dig. Not yet. I just want to keep my options open and have as many choices as possible. Which is two, apparently. A shovel is very simple to make. Simply take a branch off of any tree, a flat rock, and tie them together with grass. Of course, trees, rocks, and grass seem to be the only objects in this desert. Will you dig? Dig. That word doesn't even seem real anymore. Yes, I'll dig. I'll dig my way right out of this place. I would not recommend that. Others have tried. They get so far down and eventually give up, becoming frozen far down in the bedrock. There is really nothing down there. I'm gonna try anyway. There must be a way out of here. Though I admire your spirit, I'm also saddened by it. I have been here forever and have tried everything. I am speaking honestly when I say your only chance for happiness is to dig. That may be true, but I at least need to know this for myself. I have to try. Very well. I wish you luck. If we never meet again, I hope that you manage to find peace in this world. Farewell. Alright, let's grab a branch. It's a bit too small. Okay. Fair enough. Let's try this one. Snap a piece of a branch off. There we go. There's a pile of rocks over here. Perhaps I can continue this deep hole over here. These must be the rocks collected by the diggers to make shovels. I'll take one with me. Whoops. Take a piece of the grass. This grass seems almost petrified too, yep. Now I have everything I need to make the shovel, I'll just combine these together. Now I suppose I dig? I guess so, can I just dig anywhere? Oh, you can! Oh, that's cool. This is all I'm gonna do for eternity unless I think of something else. Yes. Okay. A place that belongs to me. That's what I was thinking. A place that belongs to me. Where you started. Well, I started in here. What about where the water's draining to? I mean, this is rock, so I don't think I can dig through a rock. Perhaps the water has weakened the rock. I might as well try to dig here. The cave floor, weakened by the water, breaks away with a little effort. Progress is slow, but aided by the continual flow of water. I had made a choice that felt real to me. Whether my hand was forced or guided by a higher power. Whether there were other choices possible or not. None of this mattered anymore. I had ventured on a path that was now mine. It was bound to me, and I to it. 
this path was my own, and nothing could change that. I would follow it to the end, and know that I had lived. Wow, that was really good. That was lovely. I'm impressed with, with, like, everything about it. The art is really good. The sound design is great. Yeah, that was, that was really, really impressive. Alright, well, I'm gonna let you listen to the rest of this awesome song i just want to say thank you for thank you for playing well thank you for making this game and thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed watching me play through sisyphus reborn <laughs>